Hi, I'm Rebecca Newberry. I'm the Director of Collection Stewardship. This is a secret spot at the Science Museum of Minnesota. So this is one of my favorite objects in our collection. It's Don the Gorilla. Don grew up at the Como Zoo. Um, you may remember him. There's a statue that commemorates him there as well. So Don had kidney failure and he died in 1994. The zoo decided to donate Don to the Science Museum so that we could preserve him. We decided to make a taxidermy mount and also to preserve his skeleton. Gorillas are really difficult to taxidermy. There are very few taxidermists in the U.S. who work with large primates. They're hard because their skin is really fragile and delicate and is difficult to tan. And also each gorilla is a really unique individual. So you have to sculpt the entire body form and be really careful with their expression on their face because people recognize them. There are only a few taxidermists in the U.S. who can make a high quality primate mount. We chose Tim Bovard, the taxidermist at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles to prepare Don. So once we had chosen Tim, we had to figure out how to get a 300 pound frozen gorilla from St. Paul to Los Angeles in one piece. We wanted to make sure that we kept Don's skin dry as he was shipped because if he thawed at all and got water on his skin, his skin would start to deteriorate. So we experimented and came up with a solution, which was to sew a bunch of adult diapers together into a giant blanket, wrap them in that blanket, and then wrap them in plastic and wrap them in a thermal blanket. We had a really generous donor who funded the taxidermy for Don. He also chartered a small plane to fly Don from St. Paul to Los Angeles, where Tim Bovard could work on him. Tim noticed that Don's skin was in poor condition. So Don had kidney failure and he was on IV fluid at the end of his life, which really hydrated him. It did protect the skin from getting freezer burned in the freezer, but it also encouraged bacterial growth. So there were some losses. Also a lot of hair had fallen out. So in order to make a taxidermy mount out of the gorilla, you have to have what is called a mannequin, which is the whole body form that the skin's gonna stretch over. All of the areas that don't have hair, like the chest and the hands and the feet and the face are sculpted from urethane foam and painted to look real. The eyes are glass, and then the skin is stretched over the rest of the form and glued and stitched in place. So once he got that together and painted him and had him all ready to go, he had to make some skin patches. He had to paint some of those areas of the skin he decided that he needed to replace all of the hair that had fallen out of Don because Don looked a little thin because <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of hair to begin with. So Tim took little tiny bits of hair, one to three pieces of hair, and drilled a tiny hole in the places that he wanted to put the hair in and he glued the hair in. He did that with about 6,000 hairs. Don's one of my favorite specimens in the collection, I think because he's got a great face and because I was so involved in his preparation. You can find Don on the second floor of the Science Museum. Take the exhibit elevators down and hang a left at the butterflies. Thanks for watching and visit smm.org for more discoveries.